Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Uh, this is for the week of October 30th through November 5th. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, you might watch your Sun, your Moon, and your Rising uh, to gain more insight to the energies coming in for you this week. Um, and these are general readings, so please take them as they resonate. I'm going to begin by pulling an Oracle card. Okay, if you like this reading, hit that like button, share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Let me know if it resonates with you. Uh, I do enjoy hearing from you. And of course, you can hit that subscribe button or that notification bell. And I hope you all have a happy Halloween this week. Um, if you're celebrating, be safe and have a good time. Here we go. What do we have, please, for Virgo for this coming week? Of October 30th, please, Spirit. We have for Virgo. Re energize in the natural world. Let your inner hunter or huntress take rest. Mm. Perhaps find a place in nature where uh, you can go, someplace uh, for solitude, for reflection, contemplation. Um, re-energizing. Okay. Re-energize in the natural world, in nature. Take a rest out in nature. That's a good idea. <laughs> I always uh, feel refreshed after spending time in nature. So if you have a spot or if you live in the city, maybe there's a park you can go spend some time there. Let's see what we have here. What do we have for Sunday, please, for October 30th? Okay. Eight of Wands. So things are being laid out. The path is being revealed to you, being laid out for you. You're being shown the way to go. Um, <laughs> Creator Universe is revealing that path, laying things out for you as you move forward. You're headed in the right direction and um, being led by spirit, by your intuition. Let's um, know that um, spirit has a plan and things are being laid out for you. Trust and move forward when you see the next step. All right, here we go. Monday, please. The Eight of Coins. Yes, pay attention. Put in the work. Pay attention to the details. Hmm. Nice. Moving forward. Uh, honing your craft. Paying attention to even the smallest details. Um, perfecting what you do. And not letting anything go to the wayside, even. I mean, this could be your talents, gifts, practicing them, honing them, um, paying attention to where you're investing your time, your energy, your finances. Uh, watch those details. The details are important. Okay, what do we have for Tuesday, please? Tuesday. Tuesday, we have the death card. Okay, so we're, something is dying. We're putting something to death here. Um, an ending to something in order to begin something new. Uh, look how she, she glows and radiates. This is the new. This is the old. The old has been released. Uh, perhaps there's an old habit, an old something that no longer serves you that needs to come to an end perhaps there's a relationship that's coming to an end a bad habit or a job or something is coming to an end um this is so that you can step forward into something better look how lit up uh, she is here renewed re-energized so there may be an ending to deal with, uh, but no, 
that it is taking you into this renewal, this better place. Let's see what Wednesday has, please. Wednesday. The Empress on Wednesday. Yes, see, there's an opportunity uh, to create something new here, to birth a new project, um, a new a life, new endeavor, something new that you long to create. You're going to do it. You're stepping into that. Out of the old, into the new. Wonderful. Everything is there. The Empress is a very um, uh, powerful, creative force. Okay, She has everything that she needs to create and, and birth the projects that she puts into motion. Uh, you're tapping into that Wednesday. Let's see. What do we have here for Thursday, please? Thursday. What do we have? Or Thursday. Okay, Thursday. The Ace of Swords. Taking decisive action. Uh, you're gaining that clarity. The wisdom, the intellect, the insight that you need to take decisive action and create that new beginning. You're taking that inspired action. You're moving forward, moving into... Um, this new opportunity without hesitation towards your success. Let's see what we have on Friday, please. Friday, the Princess of Wands, yes. There is definitely uh, something, something beginning here as spirit leads you through this week as you pay attention to the detail, continue to work and put in the time, the effort, the materials, the resources where you need to, and you're beginning anew here. Um, wow, this is definitely a very, um, Um, what would you call it? <laughs> Sorry, I just lost my word. <laughs> it is a new beginning, a new opportunity um, to move in alignment with what spirit has for you. To grow um, and move toward that. Take those opportunities when they come in for you. Don't miss them. Be aware. And make sure you're ready for them. I think that's part of the re-energize in the natural world. Make sure you're taking that time to uh, renew yourself when you need it. And so that you can move forward here and take advantage of these opportunities. More opportunity uh, on your path. Let's see what we have for Saturday, please. Saturday. Saturday, temperance, yes, being patient, um, keeping things balanced, listening to that guidance, be patient, don't push too hard, allow spirit room to work, balance things out, keep yourself, your life, your resources balanced, and patiently, patiently, um, Pursue whatever this is, this new beginning, whatever's happening here. Be patient with it. Don't rush it. Um, see what we have for an oracle in closing. So 
So Sunday, you might just slow down, take a rest, and examine all areas of your life. And um, be patient. Keep it balanced. Where do you need to create more balance? All right, in closing. Purity, purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you'll find the answer to your question. Listen to your heart, follow that guidance that comes from within. Pay attention. All right, let's see. Might wanna support your lower chakras this week. If you have a red jasper or something like that, uh, that would be good. All right, we have a warning here. We have Thurzaz, which it is a warning. Um, not necessarily negative though, it just means to watch, uh, which goes with this because you're wanting to keep things balanced. You're wanting to make sure um, that you're keeping your energy levels up by reconnecting, um, renewing yourself, perhaps in nature. Um, Just watch for the unwanted circumstances. Protect yourself. Protect your energies as you move through this towards your success. And be patient. Be patient. This is what I have for you, Virgo, for this week of October 30th. Um, your monthlies are being released this week, too, if you want to catch your monthly. And have a happy Halloween. Thank you so much.